Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Sean Mooney. And I'm Monica Garcia, and it's been a pretty active day as both Republican and Democratic parties have notable names from the campaigns right here in Tucson. Second gentleman, Douglas Emhoff, was in downtown. He's going to be there this evening attending a private event for his wife, Vice President Kamala Harris, while former President Donald Trump just wrapped up a rally at the Tucson Music Hall. And we have team coverage as both parties target battleground state Arizona. News for Tucson's Jafet Serrata was downtown to fill us in on Doug Emhoff's visit. And News for Tucson's chief investigative reporter, Chorus Nylander, is covering former President Trump's campaign event. So Donald Trump just got off the stage. We're talking moments ago, and we begin our coverage with Chorus Nylander, who was inside the Linda Ronstadt Music Hall as he delivered his speech to a full house out there. And Chorus, you join us live with more on today. You know, Monica, it's certainly a full house, and you can see some of the uh, last of the crowd here straggling, making their way out of here uh, after this event uh, just wrapped up uh, about 20 minutes uh, or so ago as they listen to former President Donald Trump speak here for more than an hour. It's very clear that Arizona, and specifically southern Arizona, is a battleground for this election, given the attention we've seen given throughout this election cycle. I mean, this has been uh, Donald Trump's second visit to our area here within just a month now. Uh, as Trump took the stage here just before 2.30 this afternoon, he opened with declaring a victory for himself in the debate two nights ago between him and Vice President Kamala Harris. Take a listen. As everyone saw two nights ago, we had a monumental victory over comrade Kamala Harris in the presidential debate. And he went on to make a first-time announcement for his campaign, promising to cut all taxes on overtime if elected. He also uh, brought up some familiar topics, uh, certainly aligned with his consistent positions like the border, promising a mass deportation of undocumented immigrants if elected. He says the situation at the border is an invasion. Uh, another main topic here today was the economy, from inflation to housing costs specific to Arizona. Uh, he said that we have become unaffordable for most families. He promised to slash taxes and interest rates, claiming that this would make Arizona's costs go down. Of course, trying to connect with the audience that was out here today. He also promised to cut down energy costs and roadblocks to try and build more housing, saying that also uh, would lower the housing costs, which he feels is a, a very Arizona-specific problem. And uh, there were, was a large crowd, as we mentioned out here. I mean, the Linda Ronstadt Music Hall here has a capacity of over 2,000 people. There was not a seat left in the house, uh, and I'm sure there were people here outside as well. So it was certainly a very large turnout today. We're live from downtown Tucson. Course Nylander, News 4 Tucson. Thank you, Course. And in the first